Hi folks, today we'll be uh, doing a walkthrough of how to install the Azure SDK for C++ using VC package in a Windows MS Build application. Uh, what I want to show you is the Azure SDK repo that contains client libraries for uh, Azure Storage, Azure Key Vault, and any of the other Azure services uh, that you'll need to talk to uh, using C++ in your application. Uh, my name is uh, Essen, and I am a developer on the C++ Azure SDK team. Uh, and I would like to go through uh, this tutorial with you. Now let's look at what we have on our machine. Here we have a Windows machine with Visual Studio installed. Let's take a look at what we have by looking at the Visual Studio installer. So we have the Visual Studio installer open. Let's take a look at what uh, things we have installed. Uh, we have chosen the desktop development for C++ workload. And the thing you want to make sure you have is the VC package component, the VC package package manager. That comes with it as part of the desktop development for C++. The other thing we need for this uh, sample that we're going to go through is Git. You can install Visual Studio from the Visual Studio website. You can choose any of the flavors of Visual Studio. And you can install Git uh, using the Git uh, website. Now, before we get started, the first step we need to do is run the command vc package integrate install. Uh, that integrates vc package with Visual Studio MS Build by setting a user wide um, configure instance of vc package so that MS Build knows how to uh, talk to it and find it. Now, let's launch, launch Visual Studio and get started with the Hello World project. Uh, we'll create a new project. Uh, let's use a C++ console application. And let's call it sample Azure SDK. Let's run this uh, to make sure it works as we expect. It should print out hello world. And us. Great. So now the, what we need to do is install our Azure SDK um, packages. So let's go back to our terminal. One way to do that is by going to tools, command line, and check developer prompt. I already have that open right here. So what we, we're going to use to install our Azure SDK packages uh, in our Hello World application is VC package. Uh, you can go to the Microsoft VC package repo to learn more about it. VC package is the C++ library and package manager. This is what we use uh, to publish our, and host our uh, libraries on. So the first step we need to do when we're running using VC package is to run VC package new version application. What this is going to do is it's going to create two files in your project directory. Let's open it up, up and see what they contain. So the first file is a VC package JSON file. This file is currently empty. It will contain all your uh, dependencies of the packages uh, that you use in your application. And the other is a VC package configuration file. This is largely to let VC package know which uh, commit SHA and baseline you're uh, getting the packages from and which repository you use it. Um, all right, so now that we have that, those two files, I'm gonna keep this uh, file open. Now let's run uh, the command to get new uh, packages, or let's install new Azure SDK uh, packages. We'll add the Azure SDK for our Key Vault package. And this is the package you're going to look for. If you go to the VC package or IO website, you will find the name of the packages. Uh, so let's add that. We're going to use uh, VC package uh, manifest mode to add this uh, port. So the command you run is VC package add port and the name of the package. In this case, is Azure Security Key Vault CPP. And before I run that, let's open up uh, the VC package JSON manifest file to see what happens. The more we ran that command, this dependency got added. Let's add another dependency to our Azure Identity SDK. And that's used for authenticating um, your identity to Azure. So we've added these two packages. The next thing we have to do 
is uh, set up, let VC package know that it's running in manifest mode. And the way we do that is by going to the properties of the project, uh, click on VC package and set this to yes. Now that we have done that, uh, what you'll see is um, package, the packages should be installed by VC package um, as soon as we start using them. Uh, let's try to run it and see what happens. Here, if you'll note, as soon as we start running them, because the VC package JSON manifest file has the two dependencies, it is now looking for those packages and going to install them. Use a VC package uh, CLI tool. This could take a few minutes. Uh, it's the first time you install them, depending on how large the packages are and how much of, how big your dependency draft is. Draft is. But um, otherwise, it can be relatively quick on subsequent uh, builds and runs after the first time it has been installed. As you see, we are installing um, the different packages, including Azure uh, Security Keyboard SDK and Azure Android SDK and their dependencies. So. We're going to skip through, and I, uh, it took a few minutes for the package to get installed. But as you can see, uh, it ran the application. Now, one thing I, I want to showcase what happened, what happened when we uh, went to the project settings and turned using the VC package manifest mode on. Let's take a look at the VS uh, launch file. VCX launch file. As you when you turn when you select uh, turn manifest mode on, what what that does is it adds this property group and it says VC package enable manifest, and that lets VC package know that we're running in manifest mode. So you use the VC package JSON manifest file for your dependencies. Um, let's reload the project. And let's open up our application, hello world application. Um, the first time you install the packages, the package artifacts get cached in your app data folder. And that's good because in the future, when you relaunch the same application with the same dependencies, they don't get, get installed. Okay, so now I have some sample code that we can um, in, uh, run. Let me bring that over. And I'll talk to you a little bit about that. Rather than writing it myself, I'll just copy paste it. So here are a couple of headers. Uh, it's been, it's been. Here are a couple of headers that we use. Here's the Azure Identity HTTP header uh, that is meant for authentication. Uh, and here's the Azure Keyboard Secrets header that's coming from the Azure Security Keyboard uh, Secrets package we just installed. Um, and then we create a credential using, in this case, is a managed identity, identity credential. And then we create a secret client passing in a keyboard URL. It can be your URL that you configure using Azure portal and the credential. And this way you can call the get secret API uh, using the SDK. Uh, we have a try cache here to catch any of the authentication exceptions because we don't have we haven't configured the manage identity credential here. Uh, so we expect it to uh, fail with authentication. Once you have set up your authentication, it will work along with the appropriate keyboard URL. Uh, let's run this code to see what, how it works. And as we expected, it ran and the get token returned with an error. Okay, so uh, typically when you work on a project and we have this Hello World application uh, running with the Azure SDK uh, package dependencies installed, uh, when you work on a project, you are collaborating with other people. So for that, you typically use a version control system. And let's say we take our application, uh, Hello World application and we publish it to Git uh, using GitHub. And what I want to see is what the experience looks like for a customer, for a contributor who wants to, who's a member of your team, who wants to also work on this uh, application with you and uh, collaborate with you. Keep in mind, we have already installed the package on our machine using the package dependency. But we do have the two files, the VC package JSON file and the VC package uh, configuration.json file. This uh, VC package JSON file tells you which packages you depend on. And what you should do is check this in as part of your source control. And you also have the VC package configuration file, which tells you which commit try and therefore which versions uh, you are being packaged from. This should also get checked in. Uh, now let's move on to uh, another machine uh, which simulates what it would look like for a uh, contributor to 
copy to clone your application uh, and start working on your dev cells and what configurations they need to set up on your machine. We have now switched over to another dev machine to see what the experience would look like for a new team member who has joined your app, uh, project. Uh, the first thing that they will do is clone the repo. We've already done that here. We put them in the C GitHub sample that the GitHub repo uh, and using any Git client or Git bash. And then, just like how we did in the original machine, you have to run the step, you see it actually get integrated, install. Uh, what this is doing is, again, letting VC package know where the VC package uh, CI tool is uh, installed. Let's open up the project and see what the next steps will be. So, by the way, the, the, this command and running this command in the, 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 the Visual Studio Developer Cloud Cloud is the only thing that the team member would need to do. Once they've done that, they can open up the project and run the application as you would have in the original machine, and it should all just work. What this is going to do is, because we have the VC package JSON file checked in, the, it came with the repo, you install the packages, and you can just run it. So there was no need to set up the manifest mode, it's, it's saved as part of the VC exploit file. And you also need to add the dependencies yourself because the VC package user file that mentions the dependencies are already checked. So, this is how you can use a VC package with Visual Studio in the MS build application to install an Azure SDK uh, sequences package. Um, if you see any red squiggles on the first time you install it uh, and open the package, you can just uh, unload the project and reload it or rescan the solution, and that should remove the red squiggles. Uh, typically, on the first time you install packages, that shows up. So we are back on the original machine now. Uh, there's a few links that I want to showcase uh, that might be helpful to you. Uh, one is this is the sample SDK, Azure SDK repo that we were using for this walkthrough. You can take a look at that. Uh, the other is if you want to browse any of the other VC package packages that we ship, you can go to the VCH package IO uh, website, click on browse packages, and search for Azure Dash. And that should show up all the different Azure SDK packages that we have. Uh, we have a beta release for Azure Messaging Event Hubs. We have Azure Identity. We have data tables. And we have Azure Storage along with Azure Keyboard, uh, all the keyboard database key secrets. Um, the other thing that might be useful is this is the tutorial we have been following uh, in our walkthrough today. Uh, this, this goes through installing and using the VC package um, uh, application libraries in, in an MSB application uh, within Azure Studio. It talks about how you want to set up a VC package, which comes built in, along with running VC package engine. Uh, this blog mentions uh, that VC package is now part of Visual Studio. So some of the original steps about cloning the VC package repo are no longer needed. As soon as you have the CPU development workload installed on your Visual Studio uh, installer, VC package comes with it. Uh, let's take a quick look again at that. If you click on the installer and you choose the CPU development workload, uh, you will see uh, VC Package Package Manager as part of it. So that brings down the VC Package CLI. Um, uh, right there. And then as a recap, uh, once you, once, if you're in manifest mode, which is what you do when you run VC Package new application, you will get the VC Package JSON file that you can list all your package dependencies. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is here's the GitHub repo for Azure SDK. Uh, this is where you can go and file issues and uh, contribute to the project as well. All the links I just showed you uh, are available in the uh, YouTube description uh, of the video, uh, and uh, they're also present on the slides. Uh, you can use look at the samples repo, you can look at where the Azure SDK repo lives, the blog links, along with how to get packages using the VC package IO package browser. Um, please stay in touch. Uh, if you have any uh, questions and want to follow us, uh, use the uh, Twitter handle or go to the Stack Overflow page. You can also just file issues on our GitHub repo. Um, our uh, SDK is Azure SDK for CPU. It's open source. We welcome contributors and uh, usage are finding issues as well. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial and walkthrough about how to use Azure SDK uh, packages in a Hello World application using MS Build with Visual Studio. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.